this like with the stalking shadows you can see the power here of just getting so many like doom beasts and demolitionists and then we even have the the fox now that can tr deal three and so it's it's all about just you know getting that like 10 points of damage in early with your early stuff and love to see that right get that card out of their hand it's not going to break up a fervor right because that that single combat was pretty valuable at breaking up fervors And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some championless burn. That's right, we have a budget deck for players that are newer to the game or for players that just want to be real aggressive. I'm thinking that maybe playing an aggro deck to get underneath all these Sivir decks could be the way to go. And we have a new tool for these kind of aggro decks. So we got no champions in here, lots and lots of commons. There's actually only two cards that aren't common in the entire deck. So it should be pretty easy to put together. But basically what we got is we got four one mana cards to help us get started out early and get ahead. And then we got, you know, a couple couple of two drops, three drops. Only two uh, rares with Stalking Shadows and Decimate. Those, those two cards are rare. Everything else is common. But basically what we try to do is try to get as much Nexus damage in with the units as possible. We use Brothers Bond as basically Decimate. Just put it on two allies that are not blocked so they can do four extra damage to the Nexus. And get as much Nexus damage as you can. And then in the late game, we're going to have units that do direct Nexus damage. So we're going to have Imperial Demolitionist, deal one to an ally to do two to the Nexus, Doom Beast, drain two to the Nexus, and now there's the new one, Astral Fox. Kill an ally and do three to the Nexus. So all of those are ways to do Nexus damage. We have Stalking Shadows that helps find those cards in the late game, right? Like you play Stalking Shadows and you look for Astral Fox or Doom Beast or Imperial Demolitionist so you can double those up and have two copies of them. And then you also have Noc Noxion Fervor. They can do three to the Nexus, and then of course Decimate doing four to the Nexus. So that's that's kind of it, right? Like use your early units, try to get like 10 damage in, and then get your other 10 damage in with all these burn uh, things later. It puts lots of pressure on the opponent right away for, to have them have the answers. There's just not too many people playing like Withering Whales and Vile Feast and all that kind of stuff these days. Lots of like Sivers and uh, you know, like, yeah, lots of that kind of stuff. And so hopefully, being super aggro could be a good way to go. So let's try it out. Championless burn. Burning down that Nexus. Okay, we got Auction River. Ribbon. Not River, Ribbon. <laughs> all right, so we only got one two mana unit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just mulligan all the spells, look for more units to start with. There we go. We'll start with Rear Guard, I think. We'll see what they play. But I think I'm going Rear Guard into Grenadier. Okay, they got a Treasure Seeker. So with them having a Treasure Seeker, does that mean I want Precious Pet? Maybe I'll have... But Precious Pet only does two. Basically trading those so they don't have the unit to block Grenadier. I know I, I could go two one mana cards right here. The reason not to go two one mana cards is then because it, it kind of muddles up my hand with like two mana, two mana, three mana later. I guess. I guess if I would have gone the two one mana cards, then I could have gone Ballista this round. And then double Grenadier. Maybe that would have been the way to go. Yeah, that probably would have been the better way to go. Alright, they're fogging my turn. Uh, my attack turn with it playing that 5-2. Brother's Bond is kind of my least favorite card in the deck. I'll show the hunters. I'll do better this time. 
I've got the reins. Okay, it didn't didn't look too Carry impressive. Kind of ran into too many too many spells. Like, the opponents had, like, as many one-mana cards as I have had, basically. <laughs> yeah, Unto Dusk is great with Doom Beast, but the problem with Unto Dusk is it's not really doing anything any other time, but it's great with Doom Beast. Definitely thought about playing that. Yeah, and it can do something with Onlooker. It's not as good with Onlooker, but it can do something. So basically, oh, okay. So let's put them down to 11. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put them down to six. Okay. GG's. Could've maybe... Maybe I could've gotten some more damage in there somehow. So, the big thing there is round two, I needed to just double spell with the two three twos. I think if I do that, then um, I get an extra three two, getting the attack damage in on round two. Get th an extra three damage in on there. Because then I can still play my four three on round three, and then I can double spell with the two three twos on round four. But then also... If I would have done that, because they played the auction on three, then I played my four three, and then round four, I probably would have been—I would have just had a good open attack before they would have played their five two and everything like that. So, yeah, I think if round two, if I double spell, I think that that it's a lot. I think that game's a lot different. All right, so we need to find one mana units. I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan all of these. Demolitionist, Doom Beast. Those cards are great late, but we have the attack token round one. We have to be able to attack round one. I went with the Jagged Butcher, or the, sorry, the Legion Rearguard first, because it did attack for the most damage. Saboteur was guaranteed to get a point of damage in, but it's also kind of guaranteed to get a point of damage in at any time, and not not just at that point. Sure about that? I don't know. I could see blocking here. Sure about that. Yeah. Okay, so we're both left with four cards. The Undying is not going to block, so I don't mind that one right now too much. So think about just, you know, Attack Brothers Bond. 
or I go saboteur first. No, I think I think I just attack brothers bond. Get seven points of damage in while we can. And now this is where we hopefully have our top end things be able to drain out the rest of the Nexus. Cannot have Ruination. I don't want to kill my 3-1 with the Fox. I'm going to kill this Spiderling with the Fox. Um, but then again, Vile Feast is a card. So maybe I kill the 2-2. I guess I could probably just pass and attack like this. See if they want to attack like this. Yeah, they don't want me to attack. Keep them alive at one now. It's always tough to, to know whether or not to play something pre combat or not. Like play that Legion Saboteur. I guess I should have. Remember the objectives. The few for the many. Get you noticed around here. No one's the wiser. Okay, let's see if we can find that last bit of damage. That could do it. They dared revoke my license. Timing is everything. Cool. All right, can we decimate? There we go. See, that's what it's all about when you're playing like this kind of burn deck. All right, so one and one. Like I said, I didn't play the first game correctly, but... Viego. So yeah, you have to not care about your resources as much and just try to get damage in as much as you can, as fast as you can. It's a pretty good hand to keep. Um, I could also see mulliganing the Ballista because it costs three mana and looking for a cheaper card. But it's not a bad thing to keep. Like, yeah, I'd rather have that Ballista in hand than this Fervor. The more you practice with this de this kind of deck, the more you'll get better at it too. Because then you'll really know exactly how like your sequencing goes and everything. Because this is the kind of deck that like you have the same game plan against all the opponents. Uh, but you will kind of see like how they interact with you and like what cards really stand out and everything. You'll be able to make better mulligan decisions. So this is one that you may um, may not do as well right away, but this is one that you'll definitely get better at because it's it's kind of just like figuring out the puzzle Where's my axe? and like exactly like which which one drop to play, like how you know all that kind of stuff, like Where which ones to get, what to mulligan, what to keep. To get me out of here. Once you get the hang of it. It'll be even better. All right, so wonderful hapless aristocrat for the opponent. Yeah, this is <laughs> these are like the the best anti aggro one drop and two drop. It's impressive. Explosives primed. I'm gonna play stuff out though. Wow. Okay, well they're. Their hand was pretty great against mine. Ready. If you could ask exactly what you want in these regions early, you want round one hapless aristocrat, and then round two fading icon, and round three egghead researcher. 
This O1 should probably be blocking the 3 1. Just save an extra point of damage. Alright, so we got him down to 14. Yes. Alright, we got Stalking Shadows. That's good. That can help us find more, more Nexus damage. So there's a good chance that I should wait till next round to play that, so that then that would have turned on the Nightfall for these things. I didn't basically because... Because I wanted to... I, I, I wanted to uh, not waste that mana. That's that's kind of the reason why I did it, is I didn't want to waste the mana. Alright, just going to... Do that. Could have Fervor there, but I'll wait on Fervor. I do this for her, for us. All right, I'm gonna take Demolitionist over the other Doom Beast for two reasons. Basically, mana cost cost two instead of three, but then also uh, I can play that first as far as Nightfall is concerned. Down to six. This, like with the stalking shadows, you can see the power here of just getting so many like doom beasts and demolitionists, and then we even have the the fox now that can tr deal three. And so it's it's all about just you know getting that like ten points of damage in early with your early stuff. And love to see that right get that card out of their hand. It's not gonna break up a fervor, right? Because that, that single combat was pretty valuable at breaking up fervors. Alright, there we go. Yeah, triple fervor is going to finish that out. So there we go. That's what it's all about. Championless burn. Alright, we got auction lease in. I don't want to see lifesteal barrier card. I think I mulligan the threes. Look for more ones and twos. I don't like the Brothers Bond. I'm gonna go Grenadier. So I think there's a good chance they have Eye of the Dragon. If they have auction, you know, trade there either way. Good people don't look the other but if they're going eye of the dragon, I'm good too. All right, get six damage in. I like that. Ooh, that's gonna be really. That could be really good against the life steal barrier. Happy with that one. This is justice. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. And there's eye of the dragon. Not happy with that. Don't have two spells. Pass the round. Just pass the round. Ah, retreat return. Yep, that's two spells. So look at the dragling. Yeah, JJ says, I have the dragon's my least favorite card because when you're playing aggro, just solos you. Yeah, it's rough. Caveman Chili! Welcome, welcome! So I've been watching your videos on YouTube lately as a new player. Thank you for explaining your process and importance of certain cards. Awesome. Yeah, glad. Yeah, that's that's what I try to do. Really glad that it's been helping you. Uh, let's go you, 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 you. Alright, well, our job is to attack. That's the only thing I got. This one's a fighter! Your lesson begins. Alright, so they're down to just three other cards. I 
I'm going to be trying to kill the... Like, I don't want them to heal their Nexus for five with that. And I'm going to be trying to kill this Eye of the Dragon because it's it's worth more than three to their Nexus, right? Like, I could go three to the Nexus, but this Eye of the Dragon getting more Draglings and stuff is worth more than that. Ugh. So they're still able to protect it, unfortunately, but it's down to one health. Noxus lives on. That retreat return was pretty awesome. Well, this is unfortunate. We came close. But really good quality hand for them. You see the power of Eye of the Dragon. If I would have done the 3 damage to their Nexus... I don't know. Nah. Wow. Yeah, I the I the dragon plus millions of pump spells. I guess that's the death of the death of aggro. Good game. Great hand upon him. Round four, my second attack already having draglings out. And and then you get like a bunch of pump and protection and stuff also. Great hand. That's the thing about playing a, a burn deck like this. Some sometimes you're just gonna you know, you'll just just lose, and that's okay. Like your opponent has an amazing hand, but you put a lot of pressure on your opponent and force them to have hands like that. If they got it, you lose, you say good game, and you move on. Alright, another Viego deck with Noxus. So we got like a spider Viego. I like it. I like this onlooker. Yeah, you'll have so. Um, you know, even like that game, right? We lost. They had a very good hand. GG's. But it's still a fast game, right? Like you still can play some really fast games and everything like that. And like I said, you put a lot of pressure on your opponent. There's nothing to fear. Won't get past me. Fresh catch? Well, it was fresh. Sure, that thing's ephemeral, but I'm not gonna not attack. We're getting our damage in. We have burn deck. All right, they're down to nine. Coming in hot. That's gonna block there. So I'm down to eight. I don't know. I I don't know. I. I guess those are just gonna trade anyway. I'll just trade. Save the one point of life. That two one isn't gonna do anything else. I was planning on open attacking with that thing, but now I got this thing. So they're ahead on board, but it's all about getting 8 points of damage in, right? And this is going to slow them down as far as killing me is concerned. The longer it takes them to kill me, the easier it is to find 8 points of damage, or like the more likely 
we find that is. Just gotta find two more points of damage. Doesn't scare me. I guess I shouldn't have blocked that, should I? Give them the encroaching mess. I wanna keep one thing alive because if we find Imperial Demolitionist, we need to have an ally to Imperial Demolitionist. Stalking Shadows. That's me. That'll do also. That shall do. Because yeah, at that point, you know, like we're we're drawing into Noxion Fervor, Doom Beast, Imperial Demolitionist, Astral Fox, and Decimate. Did I say Stalking Shadows also? There's a lot of things that we're drawn into. I don't think I even did so six, so yeah, there's like six different things that are three ofs that are all doing the Nexus damage. So there we go, three and two. And that's the thing, like we were playing no champions, right? Like these are all commons except for just two rares with Stalking Shadows and Decimate, but 34 commons. That's a lot of commons. Um, Brothers Bond didn't look so good. I think that was my least favorite card in the deck. Um, I've also, I've thought of, about playing, uh, there are some different cards. Like I could see playing the third House Spider. That's one thing. Um, these two cards, I like both of these two drops, Arachnoid Horror and Arena Battlecaster. I wonder if those would maybe be better than Brothers Bond. Probably, to be honest. Wasn't very impressed with that Brothers Bond. Uh, Unspeakable Horror. That's the other card that, you know, could also do another way to do Nexus damage plus Nightfall, create your Nightfall card in hand. And so sometimes that night, you know, random Nightfall card will be just like another Doom Beast um, and other stuff. So like Unspeakable Horror and you can like, you can get rid of like a blocker with Unspeakable Horror. I kind of feel like maybe that's better than Brothers Bond too. So I, I don't know exactly which way to go, but I wasn't very happy with the Brothers Bonds. And so between Unspeakable Horror third house spider and arena battle caster i think it's probably some number of those two card like of those cards to fill out the last two slots i like these 38 um and so it's kind of personal preference do you like battle caster throw them in there do you want another house spider go ahead maybe get the third house spider in there and play one unspeakable horror or just play the battle caster I, maybe just go with that just go with the house spider and a battle caster do your attack in um or the yeah or the unto dusk like they were talking about Okay, maybe third house spider and first and just play one unto dusk. So basically it, it draws a card so it gets you closer to Yeah, yeah, I like unto dusk. Okay, let's let's go with that. Gets you closer to all these other um burn spells and stuff, and then it's it's amazing if you have Doom Beast. Because then you get to drain two when you have Doom Beast. Um it can also give you the plus two plus zero and fearsome on the onlooker and reset an onlooker and let it do its thing again. So alright. Unto dusk would be a rare, so it'd be thirty-three rares. Um, yeah, this is a, a pretty cool little archetype. You know, it's it's nothing flashy. Again, that like that first game, I think that I, I could have had a better round two and then, you know, that maybe changed that game completely. Could have, you know, been a 4-1 potentially. Uh, just lost to like that Eye of the Dragon. But I think it's really good. And I think that Astral Fox gives it like that extra reach now. So you want to play an, an early deck? Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, you want to play uh, a deck that's good for you uh, early on in your collection, gaining abilities this is a, a really good deck with i guess now 33 commons and seven rares so pretty easy to put together and a very very solid all right so that's going to be it here for championless burn thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video